Hey guys, for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a haul with you. So I took a break from buying makeup, but my birthday just passed and I got a bunch of gift cards for Ulta, the Sephora VIB sale came around, and I was like, you know what? Mama's gonna treat herself because it's been a long time. I've really just been buying things that I run out of and that I need. So I treated myself, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I haven't used anything, or have I? I might have just used one thing, two things. I Okay, I used a few things. I'm gonna start with Sephora first because I, uh, the Sephora VIB sale was just here. I really try to buy a lot of my stuff from Ulta because I get Ulta points, and you can actually redeem it for uh, money off of your order so I typically like to stay at Ulta just because of Ulta points. This is from Hourglass. I took everything out of the box. Hold please. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini and I know they come out with one of these every year. I actually bought the bigger size one in the last Sephora VIB sale and I've talked about it in a video. I ended up returning it because it was so expensive. It was like 80 bucks. This was expensive too, just not that much. And the colors didn't really work for me. They were too light. Uh, hourglass, get it together with your shade range. Like I'll spend the money on them, but Jesus Christ, can you extend your shade range? But this one ended up working out for me. So I use this today. It's really, really beautiful. Super expensive. I think it was like 50 something dollars. But this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. This bronzer, I swear it's darker than the one that was in the one I bought last year. Cause the one last year, um, I just remember being like, I spent $80 on this and I just don't see myself reaching for it that often, so I returned it. This bronzer is really nice. It looks so flawless. Like it, this, The thing I love about Hourglass is that their products are just, it looks like your skin but better and that's what I like to look like. I don't like to look real makeup-y and this is really nice. So I used this whole palette. I used the blush today. This blush is right up my alley when it comes to blushes. It looks, it swatches really sheer but it looks really nice on the skin. It works for my skin tone at least. I just, again, wish they would come out with a better shade range, um, but it's so smooth, so pretty, so lit from within. This highlighter is really nice too. I'll show you guys this. And then I used a little bit of this one. It's kind of like a setting powder. I used it in like this area of my face just to bring a little bit of lightness. So yeah, it's really nice. I already used it. I have the highlighter on. I think you can see it. I don't know. My lights might be washing it out, but yeah, this is really nice. They did go cruelty free, which is nice. Um, you always love to see a brand who doesn't test on animals. I'm really into like supernatural makeup. Like on a day to day basis, when I go to work, I don't, I hardly wear any makeup. It's super natural. It's very minimal. I don't even wear foundation. I kind of just do more of like a powder and brow gel, mascara. It's just very simple. I do my face in literally like eight minutes. So I wanted to get a nice eyelash curler and I'm not a big believer in eyelash curlers. I haven't used an eyelash curler in years because personally my lashes just don't need it. Some people I feel like it's necessary like when I do clients, people who have really straight lashes, yeah, they definitely need one. For me, it just wasn't a necessary step. Mascara did the job for me, but I kind of just want to make them like extra, that extra ump since my makeup is so minimal day to day. So I got this one from Shishado, Shishado, Shishado. I have no idea how you say this brand. Um, I don't think I've really ever used anything from this before, but I wanted to try the, I think it's uh, uh, Surat. That's the one I wanted to try that everybody talks about, but it was sold out. So I couldn't get it, but this one had really good reviews. It was like 20 something dollars. I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna get a luxury or a high-end eyelash curler, now is gonna be the time when I can get it on sale. And it's cute. It's like in this limited edition packaging. I didn't use it today, I actually forgot. But a lot of people are like, yeah, spend the money on eyelash curlers. Whenever I used one, I always just used one from like the drugstore. And it just didn't do anything for me. That's why I stopped using it. But I'm gonna try this one and see how it works. It's cute, it's gold. All the things that I like, you know? Okay, uh, the next thing I got was this little mini lip trio. This would also be a really good, like a stocking stuffer or a nice gift to give to somebody because it's a little trio. This is the Charlotte Tilbury mini lip wardrobe and it has three colors in it. One of the ones is Pillow Talk, which I already own that. I actually have the mini, I bought a little mini set from Sephora as well. Um, it was a lip liner and a lipstick and for me the minis are fine because I'm a lip junkie. I have so many lip products. I will never in my life, honestly, it's wasteful for me to just purchase them, but I, I have no self-control. This was like so expensive for these travel size lipsticks. They're so, like they're so small. I mean, they're so cute, but they're so small. It was like 30 bucks, I think for these. So I guess it came out to be like $10 a piece, but 
It's Charlotte Tilbury. I wouldn't expect anything less because it's a luxury brand, but I really wanted to try it. I love her lipsticks. I am a massive, like huge fan. I use them every single week. They're really beautiful. This is called Walk of Shame. It's a really pretty berry color and I don't really reach for these too often, but I don't know, something came over me and I was like, I need to switch it up. I'm over the, I'm not over the nudes, but when I don't wear a lot of makeup, I like to do like a little bit of a more bold lip. So I was like, baby girl, come on, can we change it up from like the same nude combination you do every day? It's like I do different combinations every day with different products, but it's always, it always turns out something like this. So I got these, this is Pillow Talk, which I'll go ahead and swatch. I have this, I actually keep this in my purse because I really, really like it. I wear it enough that I just like to put it in my purse. So Pillow Talk is right there. It's supposed to be like a universal shade for like a lot of different skin tones and it's really pretty. I'm not a fan of pink, but this pink is like a, I don't know, it's like a pink that I like. And this one is Berry Victoria. This I was gonna actually buy by itself, but I saw it came in the set. So I was like, let me go ahead and get it because I go through the, I use the Pillow Talk a lot. So I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if I went through it. And that's Berry Victoria right here. It's kind of similar to Pillow Talk, but a little more on the deeper side. But yeah, I just, I wanted to try this little trio. I've had my eye on it for a while and it was a nice way for me to try a few different colors that I don't have without buying like the single full size lipsticks. The next thing I got was this from Summer Fridays. This is a lip butter balm and I am not one for the expensive lip balms. I tried the Laneige lip mask that everybody talks about. It was like a waste of money for me. I don't see a difference in it than like my little rose Vaseline that I normally use. But this time of year when the weather gets really cool, my lips get so trapped and I'm a picker. I pick at everything. I pick at my cuticles, I pick at my skin, I pick at my lips when they're chapped. I have, it's a really bad habit of mine, especially during this time of year when the weather is really dry and I'm more on the drier side. Um, I just need a really heavy, rich balm. And I've heard so many people talk about this on Instagram. They all swear by it. They say it's the best that they've ever used. And so I fell into the hype, so I bought it. I want something that I can put on and it stays on for a long time. And I've tried a lot of expensive ones because that's how desperate I am. So I'm gonna try this one. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments below. I got this lip liner as well. This is a Sephora lip liner and That's embarrassing. You embarrass me. Don't do that in front of my friends. This is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I bought this not really on a whim. It wasn't too expensive. I think it was around like $12, $13. It's a Sephora brand, so it's a little more uh, affordable compared to other brands there. I always want to try it, but I never did. I'm very particular with lip liner. Um, if you guys don't know, I just started getting into lip liners within the last couple of years. I used to think they were the biggest gimmick. I never used them. I thought they were so stupid and I, I never bought them. And then one day I was like, you know, let me try lip liner. And I like just kept getting into them and falling into a deep pit of lip liner. And now I'm obsessed with lip liner. I can't do a lip without it. So I was like, let me try this. I'm very picky though. I want something matte, but creamy at the same time, but something that doesn't budge. So this seems really creamy. I don't know how this is gonna work for me. It had good reviews, so I bought it. Um, but I don't know, that's it right here. I haven't tried it yet. I should have tried it today, but I normally gravitate towards really dark brown colors. So I wanted to get something a little more every day where I could just kind of throw it on and maybe put a gloss on top. And this is called, I didn't even tell you guys the shade. It is called Nothing But Nude. It's the shade number two. It's one of the lighter shades they had. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin powder foundation. I got this because Nicole Guerrero talks about this all the time. And for me, when I do my everyday makeup, like for work, I do a, actually just do the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't do foundation when I go to work because honestly, I can't be bothered. I'm so tired. I work in an office by myself. Nobody sees me um, except for like a very, maybe three people. So I just, I, I don't care. <laughs> or I either do this MAC Studio Fix. I have to be careful with this because it's really heavy. It tends to break me out. So I kind of save it for like special occasion makeup, but usually day to day I do Charlotte Tilbury. And this does not really give me a lot of coverage. It's just enough to give me something, but when I'm breaking out really bad or I have like a blemish that is red and it's ugly and I wanna cover it up, I have to do like a little bit of concealer and then that. So I wanted to try this because this is supposed to be like a full coverage. I think I can shear it down a bit cause I don't care for full coverage, but I just, I wanted something new and I'm running out of that one or I will be running out soon. Oh, oh, this is fancy. It has a little 
button right there. It's like, we're not a basic bitch. We don't open like this. You gotta push the button. Okay, makeup forever. But I got the shade if you're similar in tone to me. Y245, can you tell my age? Because I have to like, I'm like, ugh, what does that say? Ooh, it looks like it actually blended right in. So this should be a really good shade. Um, but I'll try it and I'll let you guys know how it works. I'm not gonna use it with this. I know Nicole Guerrero, she uses it with the sponge. I'll probably use it with my powder brush. I use this uh, Sonia Kashuk. I've had this brush for years. I don't even think you can get it anymore. Or I use this one from Real Techniques. I don't know what it's called, but it pushes up like this. I just kind of buff it in. Um, I do like the fastest base ever but I wanted this to be like my new everyday powder so we'll see how this works I'm, I'm really excited I think I'm most excited to try this because I need like a reliable powder where I'm like okay this is gonna be my quick powder I have my setting powder for foundation so I needed something with a little bit more coverage especially because I have a rosacea when my rosacea flares up the Charlotte Tilbury doesn't give me enough coverage my I need to cover up my cheeks a little bit more I also got this big guy which I am so excited for. This is the Sol de Janeiro. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just like a body set. But if you guys have not smelled this, what are you doing with your life? It is the like summer scent of my dreams. It just makes me think of like curly hair and gold jewelry, tan skin, shimmery bronze, makeup, body, everything. The epitome of summer, that's what this is. This stuff smells so good. I got in a very, very old BoxyCharm a sample of the lotion and ever since then I've been hooked on this stuff. I love it so much. This, first of all, this body lotion is legit. I am very sensitive to a lot of lotions. This doesn't irritate my skin. I have um, eczema that will flare up on my legs if I use something too like artificial, I guess. So I use a lot of unscented lotions. I don't, hold on. <sighs> yes. Mm. Mm, mm. It's like the first time every time I smell this stuff. Um, but back to what I was saying, I can't use a lot of like artificial, um, like very heavily perfumed, heavily scented, like Bath and Body Works lotion, can't do it. It irritates my skin so bad. This does not irritate my skin. I have a little mini one that I always have. I just keep it in my purse or I keep it on my nightstand. It almost reminds me of like something with like almond butter in it. Like it's rich, but it feels good. It's, it's not greasy. It's just really like creamy and soft and it makes you smell and feel so good but i i couldn't resist when i saw this i was like yeah i gotta have it i can't resist um mainly for the lotion because it was a big size tub but also for the spray oh, like i have to have this in a spray it smells so good mm. this i'll probably actually keep in my purse because it's like a smaller one and this just like it lingers all day you can smell the scent it smells like vanilla and almond and coconut and just the best versions of those scents all wrapped in one caramel like there's hints of caramel i don't know what the scents are but i just know it smells amazing um it also comes with this shower gel which i've never tried but i'm excited to try and then it comes with a little lip balm so yeah i couldn't resist is this a lip oh it's a lip butter mm. Oh God, it just, this like makes me happy. It makes me reminisce of the times of summer before coronavirus when life was easy and it was simple and you could go places, you could go on vacation and go to the pool and enjoy life. And this is reminiscent of that. And then um, since my birthday passed, I got a birthday gift and this, I got the Charlotte Tilbury little gift set. Let me put some of this on, I wanna see how this looks. It's a, okay, that was still, it's not a mirror in there. Ooh, that's cute. It's a little gloss. It's like a pink with some sparkles in it. That's really pretty. This is in the shade Rose Jewel. In case you're wondering, that was my gift I chose. And then the Magic Cream. I think I've tried this before. My mom uses this and I think I used it once when she was here. Ooh, it smells like rich people. I did the 100 point perk. I wanted to try this dry shampoo from IGK. I 
really heavily rely on dry shampoo because I only wash my hair like once a week. Like again, I just can't be bothered and I, I just can't blow dry my hair on a regular basis. So I heard a lot of really good things about this. I don't want to spend the money on it uh, without seeing if I like it first. So I had a bunch of points because I, I never shop at Sephora that often anymore. Um, so I redeemed it for this. I have heard... Like this is so hyped, so I'm excited to try it. We'll see how that works. We're gonna move on to Ulta, and I got more stuff at Ulta because they had a lot of really cute little holiday sets. Actually, I think almost everything that I got would be nice Christmas gifts if you're buying for a makeup junkie, you want stocking stuffers. Um, a lot of these you can even break up and put in stocking stuffers or just give it as a gift itself. And I'm gonna share that with you. So this is exciting because we're talking about Christmas, which I cannot wait to do my winter beauty essentials. It is the most wonderful time of the year. I had to do it. Okay, so first thing I got was this perfume. Actually, Matthew got me this for my birthday because I ran out. This was, um, God, this is our wedding day perfume, so it brings back a lot of memories. I'm gonna spray it on myself right now. It smells so good. It's the Gucci Guilty. And I am like, when it comes to perfumes, I like to splurge. I hate a cheap perfume. It's like you spend the money on it, you spray it on yourself, and then you don't smell it. I need to smell myself throughout the whole day. Um, if you haven't tried that perfume, I will say Gucci has some of the best perfumes out there. They're so expensive. But if you're looking for like a nice, like a very sexy, adult, sultry perfume, you want to smell good all day. Gucci is the bomb. I've tried so many of their perfumes. I have a couple of them and they never fail me. I get a whiff of it throughout the entire day. So the notes for this one, if you haven't tried it, it's uh, geranium or geranium? Geranium. It's geranium, right? I'm really not sure. Uh, pink pepper, lilac, peach, amber, and patchouli. Patchouli? Like, I don't... I don't know how to enunciate, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I forgot because I haven't, like, talked to people in so long. I don't know. The style is modern, electric, and romantic. It smells, oh, so good. Like, I love it. So It's, it's literally one of my favorite perfumes ever. Um, but yeah, I grabbed that. And again, I got this for my birthdays, but I got it like including in my old haul, so I'm throwing it in here. Okay, next thing I got was this from Dose of Colors. I've had my eye on this since it launched, but I wanted to wait until they launched it at Ulta so I could use my points. And this is the Dose of Colors, the Smoky Soiree palette. I have the Sassy Siennas, which I love. It's one of my favorite palettes of all time. It's like all mattes, but it's like rich, warm brown shades. And I saw this and I was like, this is gonna be perfect for the winter months to come. Not that we're doing anything because we're in quarantine, but you know, just like, it, it makes me, it makes me happy. Okay, but this is what she looks like. It's so pretty. I love this berry shade. It reminds me of the Mulberry from Soft Glam. And then you've got this brown and a black. I did use the black as my liner today because I wanted to see how black it was. Um, and then you have this like gray taupey shade and then like a lighter taupey shade. So I'll show you those swatches. They're so pretty. I have not used this yet. So I didn't test it out, but I will definitely let you guys know. I have pretty high hopes because Dose of Colors typically has really nice shadows, but I was just so excited for these swatches. I was like, yep, gotta have it. I also saw this on Ulta. This is the Lorac Mini Pro Palette in the simmering and it's so cute it's a little baby this was only 15 bucks it's Lorac has some of the most beautiful formulas of all time one of my first actually high-end palette purchases way back in the day was the Lorac pro palette i had that one and then the urban decay naked and i used it so much like the two back and forth like to death i actually dropped it recently like a year ago and the rest of the shadows broke. I mean, they were like, just the edges were left, so it broke and I think I had to get rid of it, but I didn't want to because it had such sentimental value to me because I, I, I had that palette for literally like eight years. I was walking, I dropped it on the hardwood floors and it shattered, but just some of the best buttery, smooth shadows, pigmented, I just so good. And this is what this little guy looks like, as if I really need like, you know, another neutral palette, but I just couldn't resist. Um, so I'll show you the shades. I haven't I haven't used any of the shadow palettes, but they're like they feel like butter. I mean, look at how those swatch. They look so nice, right? Let's do a little arm swatch here. And that was just one little dab in there. This would be so cute for like a beginner 
or even if you have like a teenage daughter or son actually um, and they're just getting into makeup and they you know you kind of want to get them something simple this is really cute I love this I, this is adorable and I could literally couldn't help myself. I don't need this, but I had to have it. This next thing is really, really nice. It's another palette. I got a like a handful of palettes because it, it had been so long that I bought one. Um, but this is so beautiful. This is from Urban Decay. It's called the Party Favor palette. And it's like the, I forgot what the shadows are called. Uh, let me see if I can find the box. Hold on. These guys that come in this type of packaging. Um, they're the single glitter shadows. This formula, but in a palette. And... I think on the website it said that these are all new shades. I might be wrong, but I thought that's what I read. Those are some of the best, most sparkly. If you really like something super sparkly or something really special that just makes your eyes look like glitter, you will love this. Now, I did use this palette. I used it over the weekend because I really wanted to try it. These two shades. I wish I took, got to take a picture of my makeup, but I didn't get a chance. Um, so I used this one on my lid and then this one in the center to make it extra sparkly. But I'll go ahead and show you swatches of these. They're, I mean, they're just, they're so pretty. They have that um, like really glittery finish, but a little bit of a clear base. So you can use them as a topper. I'm not sure, honestly, if the camera is even doing them justice. Just take my word when I say that they're exceptional. And I can't remember how much this palette was. I think it was around like 30 bucks. But especially this shade right here, Spaced. It's like a taupey silver. You guys know how I feel about my taupes. I love taupe. I really hope the camera is just doing it justice. I, I don't know if it is. I hope it is. You can use them as toppers on top of other eyeshadows. Like if you have something a little more matte or if you have something that doesn't have enough sparkle and you want to add a little bit more, these are nice to just take with your finger and kind of tap on your lid if you want to add that like glitter element. You know what? Let's do a little right now. I'll do this one. The sugar, sugar high. Just add such a pretty like extra special element to your look it is so nice and also those are like $20 a piece I'm pretty sure I got this for 30 bucks and it comes with six this is from Laura Mercier this is the mini caviar set I think this was like 30 or $35 it comes with four of these little sticks I've never tried these before which is why I bought it because I wanted to really try it out um, but I just thought this would be really cool if I just wanted to do something like quick and simple. I want to take something and just swipe it on my eye. Some of them are matte and then some of them are shimmer. I've always wanted to try them, but I just, they're really expensive. The singles, I never wanted to bite the bullet and buy them because I didn't know how I would like them. But I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and grab it. It was a set. So I was like, oh, I can justify it. You know, it's like I get a couple for the price of one. Here's the swatches down here underneath the um, eyeshadow swatches. Hopefully you can see them. I love this one, this taupey shade. I also grabbed this, this is from Anastasia. This is the Haute Holiday lip gloss set. And there was another one in here, it was really pink. It was too pink for me, I gave it to my sister. But this I think was $25 and I thought it was cute. I love Anastasia's lip glosses. Again, love the mini thing. I'm just a big fan of minis. These are easy to just kind of throw in your purse as well this one is my favorite this is tasty and i don't know if these are new shades or if they're old i have no idea i love her glosses i have actually um quite a few but i saw this set and i was like oh that's so cute i had to have it Ooh, that's pretty this one is like a glittery pink sheer gloss love her gloss formulas they're some of my favorite. They last so long. And I was like, you know, these are all like something I could just throw on top of a matte lipstick or even just by itself, you know, on an everyday basis and they'll be really pretty, you know? So I grabbed those. And then the last thing I got was this from KKW Beauty. This is the three piece mini gloss set. It looks like this. These are pretty tiny. I don't know if they're smaller. Yeah, they're a little smaller than the Anastasia. Ooh. They're actually a lot smaller. This is Nude 1.5. This is Radiate. This one's my favorite. And then this one is Nude 5. These seem like a little bit of a thicker formula. I've never tried these before, so I don't know how they are, but they're right here. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. So this is 1.5. This one's Radiate. And then this one is Nude 5. And that is that ladies and gentlemen so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you've tried any of these things 
Make sure you leave them below. What you've tried, what you like. Just talk to me because I like to talk to you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe before you go so you don't miss any of my videos. Hit the notification bell. You know the drill, all that good stuff. And that's it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.